everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool. And my name is Brent, and on this channel, we review technology and tools and just about everything that has to do with getting stuff done. And today, I am super happy to announce that we are looking at the world's first AI powered thermal imaging dash cam. And yes, you actually heard that correctly, and you're seeing it right here camera and this is the monitor. Here's the big thing about this. I have this on my lawnmower because first, this is a world's first, so I wanted to put it through some interesting tests with quick body movements and animals and just different things safely where I wasn't going to hurt anyone and that you could understand how this particular technology will actually work. And I think that's super important whenever we test these types of things out. Now, some of the things that you need to know, it's AI powered. That means it's going to identify a person, a body, an object. It identifies vehicles. It identifies people as they walk or jump out in front of your car. It, it identifies animals the same way and it will alert you. It will do some really amazing things and that's why I was so drawn to actually making a video and reviewing this technology. Now it's pretty simple in the setup and everything that you need to do and we will talk about that. But the big thing that you need to know is that this could be a life-saving technology and that's what we really need to look at is in low light or zero light, zero visibility conditions, can you actually still see someone, or if you're trying to search and rescue, well, could you identify someone and see someone that way as you're driving too? So what are we waiting for? Let's jump in first. How did I actually hook it up to my lawnmower? Let's see. This is 12 volt technology, and all I did with the hood is I have a power pack in here, and I just hooked it right up 12 volts right here. So I'll go ahead and pull that out right there. And now why is it important for me to show you this on a lawnmower? Don't worry, we are going to use it on a vehicle as well. But I wanted to show you that you can actually use this anywhere. You're not limited to a vehicle. As long as you have a 12 volt source and that's super easy to find just about anywhere you can get a portable power pack. This is it right here. Now I use my little clip to hook this up here, but this is all the monitor is right here. And it does come with its own dashboard mount as well, but you are looking at everything. So how this works, this actually does mount on the hood of your vehicle. We'll go over that. Just imagine this is a vehicle here. It is adjustable. This is a nice little uh, silicone head. This goes into this device right here. And I believe this is more of a, uh, just a microprocessor here, which receives signals, sends them back out. And then you have your 12 volt power source and it has a USB pass through right there. And then that leads to your monitor right here. Now, super easy, super fast to hook up. And as you can see, you can do it on just about anything. But I think one of the things that is super important is for you to see the testing that I spoke about. So let's jump into the testing now so you can see how this actually works. I think you're gonna be amazed. All right, we have the dash thermal imaging AI camera going and uh, we're gonna drive, here we go. Well, there we go. Look at that, look right here, hold on. Look, you could not see him at all. It's a limited like sight and this camera caught it and it stopped it and you can see the person plain as day here. So, wow, zero visibility. That was incredible. I am super happy about that. All right, let's continue testing. So one of the things I thought this would be good for would maybe be search and rescue if you could find someone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the camera out here. I have the lights on. We're just gonna keep looking. Uh, and the camera just picked up something. And all right, we're gonna go this way. 
I told my kid to hide, so. And right there, there he is. It picked it up. So you can see that was really good. And that picked him up there. So wow, that was actually great. So another thing I wanted to test is driving with a pedestrian walking, have the thermal camera, but it's still like super hard to see. So we're gonna just continue walking. There we go, we already have a target right through here. So if I need to pass safely or go through there, it's already identified it was a person and you know, they're back in. So this is really good. You can identify where they're at. And if you need to pass them, you can safely. It's actually really cool. <laughs> now the claim is that this can reach 650 feet worth of sensing and let's just see how, if we can actually sense that. I'm a little apprehensive, but if we, oh, look at that, hold on. Uh, that is my son way down there. Nick, can you wave your hands? Okay, you can see he's waving his hands. You can see it really well here, but let's take a ride to see how far it takes us to get there. That's at least uh, probably 200 feet right through here, but let's see. Let's see, does it give us a meter reading through here? Uh, it does, it's, it's really hard to see, so let's get a little closer. All right, so there Nick is, and wow, that was actually really good because we were way back there. You can't see that because it's in the dark, but we can see with a the thermal imaging camera. All right, let's test another thing. One of the other things that I really wanted to see is can it detect animals? All right. And there you go. Let's see how this is set up. This is the thermal imaging dash cam. It actually does need to be outside your vehicle. Um, that's going to create accuracy, obviously. But I ran the wire down through here. Uh, you can go through your firewall. You can do different things. It, it, it is a little bit of a process. For me, I just set it right there because I'm not going to use it all the time. And It's gonna go right here with the seal, so it's not gonna be a big deal. And then I just put this here. Now, when I do this permanently, um, I'm actually going to mount this right here, but you can see right here uh, what it's actually showing. I do have another dash cam right there, so what we're gonna do is uh, get the show on the road. The thermal imaging dash cam, this this inside camera is amazing. Uh, I, I am amazed right now, and I have my camera right now on wide angle lens, and this other, the dash cam is doing such a good job, and I say that um, not to just buff it up, but I mean, I, I, I'm seeing everything so clearly on the actual camera itself and you know maybe the recording won't show this as accurately so I'm, I'm just going to slow down and and uh, show this to you really quick but check this out as I come to a stop sign look at this can hopefully you can see that a little bit oh it's not translating very well on the camera let's see yeah there we go so you can see how good that actually looks Oh yeah, this is this is quite quite the technology. All right, here we go. You can just see it's showing just amazing, and then you can see what I'm seeing here too. So there we go, and we are driving, and it, it looks so good. But I can oh, it just identified something on the side of the road, which I don't think I saw my camera. So let's continue down the road here and just see how we're actually doing. I'm, I'm 
so surprised that this is clear and it's it's actually keeping up pretty well. So at the end of the day, this thermal imaging AI powered dash cam is unlike any other tool that I've ever used. It has the ability to identify people, identify animals, and it has the ability to really save a life if you can identify it early, slow down your vehicle, do what you need to do to avoid the obstacle, and really help drive safely and just do things a little bit differently than what you're used to. It's not the same as a traditional dash cam that's looking for people in the daylight and that really relies on light. This relies on temperatures and it relies on different technologies and I think that's worth checking out. Here's what I'm going to do and here's what I would like for everyone to do watching this video. Go to the link down below, do your own research and really take stock on what you saw in this video and make your own decision. I think it's worth it and you could reserve yours for a dollar, I think it's right around $500, it will be the final cost uh, when you take delivery, but I think between hunting and between searching for people, safe driving, and multiple different uh, driving uh, abilities and conditions that you would use this in, it's worth it. I have a lot of hope for where this technology is going, is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say it's perfect, but I am going to say it's the start of something that is amazing and something I feel that will be integrated in many different systems as we continue down the path of technology development and then injecting AI into that in a way that makes sense and that is safe. My name is Brent. This was Live Free and Toolin. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well and share the video. If you share the video, you could help someone. They may benefit from this technology. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Get out there, go try something new, make mistakes, learn from your mistakes, and pass on the good solutions to the next generation. And we will all be better for it at the end of the day. Take care, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.